The cockroaches have damaged this mini split air conditioner motherboard, and it is so dirty. I think this dirt seems to be a kind of poop of cockroaches. As I have passed electricity through it, it is displaying an 88 error. Now as I have moved the control board upward from the plastic cover, the cockroaches are present inside the control board. Now it's confirmed that this is the poop of the cockroaches. I am cleaning the control board using petrol. So let's pass electricity through it again to check whether it works. Still, it is showing an 88 error. This problem occurs due to high or low voltages. So this problem could be temporary or permanent. It could be a temporary fault in such a way that if the voltages go to normal, this problem will be fixed. So let's check why it is causing this 88 error and try to repair it. This is a transformer based control board. This connector is the 220 volt connector of the transformer. And this is the 12 volt input connector for the control board and the output connector for the transformer. And this is an AC electricity transformer. For converting the AC electric to DC, diodes are installed over here. I will put the multimeter in diode mode to check the diodes. The multimeter is showing this diode fine. Reverse voltage drop is shown on the second diode. I have changed the polarity of the probes and this diode is also fine. The third diode is showing nothing. The fourth diode is also fine. The fifth is fine too. The sixth diode is also showing fine. All the diodes are fine. Now I will check the voltages of this motherboard. I will set the multimeter to AC volts. I will check the 12 AC volts on this red connector. Right now, 11.20 volts are passing here. It should have 12 volts here. But no issue. The first four diodes in this motherboard work as a full wave bridge rectifier converting AC voltages to DC. The DC voltages flow towards this capacitor. This capacitor has 11 DC volts passing through it. This is a 7805 regulator IC. Its input is 12, and its output is 5 volts which could flow to turn on the microcontroller. The temperature of its heat sink is 57 degrees, which is a very high temperature. The regulator IC is heating up a lot. I have removed the old regulator. I will install this new IC. I have changed this IC, but still, the problem is the same. Let's check this capacitor over here. I doubt on this capacitor. I have set the multimeter on continuity mode to check this capacitor. And the multimeter is beeping on continuity mode. This means the capacitor is faulty. So I will desolder it. Now I have desoldered the components from the motherboard. As I got a short circuit on all of these capacitors, I removed its microcontroller. I had removed the Darlington arrays, but it didn't make any difference in the motherboard. After desoldering the microcontroller, the short on the motherboard has finished. This capacitor shows 5 volts. This capacitor shows 15 volts. Now I have cleaned this microcontroller, as they were dirty too and I thought it made the short in the motherboard. Now I will install these components back to the motherboard and check whether we can fix this problem or not.
Let me clarify that this 88 error problem could differ from situation to situation. This means that if this 88 error is shown and you want to fix it, the problem I am getting could be different with your mini split air conditioner. But the testing points I am showing could help you fix the motherboard problem. You can see I have removed this capacitor, but still, the multimeter is beeping on this capacitor. The ceramic capacitor shows a beep on the multimeter. Pin number 1 of the microcontroller is the ground. This resistor is installed with pin number 4 of the microcontroller. The short circuit is present over here. This capacitor is C3 which I had removed from the control board. It is still showing short. I am removing all these SMD capacitors as one of them I think could be faulty. Now let's check this capacitor trace through the multimeter again. The multimeter is still making beeping sound. The beep sound is made here on these capacitor pads as well. The beep sound is made here as well. Now it is confirmed that this microcontroller is short circuited from the inside, due to which this problem is shown. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch the next video. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.